Hello, Great Eagle again here. This one is called Connecting Some Prophetic Dots. Jeremiah 51, 53. Yet for me shall spoilers come unto her, saith the Lord. This verse seems to be saying that uh, this end times or future Babylon, which uh, John the Revelator calls Mystery Babylon, will be destroyed by beings from God himself. These beings are probably uh, what uh, the world knows today as outer space aliens and uh, UFOs. This may also coincide with Mystery Babylon's enemies here on Earth attacking at the same time as well, as we know that the destruction will be so swift it will only take one hour to complete this destruction. Revelation 18.10, alas, alas, that city, Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come, Revelation 18.17, for in one hour so great riches has come to naught, Revelation 18.19, for in one hour is she made desolate, Jeremiah 50 and 3, for out of the north there cometh up a nation against her which shall make her land desolate. And Jeremiah 50 and 9, Lo, I will raise up and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. These spoilers came from, that's the end quote, by the way, these spoilers come from the north, from God himself. As we know that God lives in the north, according to Isaiah 13, 14. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will send into, ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will also sit in the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. And a while back I was watching uh, something on television, I don't know if it was uh, uh, History Channel or Discovery Channel, but uh, a man from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, uh, JPL, was talking about our early warning radar system. He said that we can see anything from anywhere except something coming in from due north. He did not explain why. He did also did not also did not say how many degrees plus or minus from due north that the radar cannot see. Uh, this might be because of the North Pole being uh, magnetic. The magnetism may interfere with the radar in some way. At any rate, I thought it highly interesting that the Lord said thousands of years ago that these spoilers would come from the north. And now this man from JPL says that our radar is useless seeing something coming in from due north. Now the mighty men uh, shall become cowards at that day. When this attack comes, Mystery Babylon's military men will become cowards. This is probably when they start to go into their underground bunkers by the droves. Isaiah 2.19, they shall go into the holes of the rock and into the caves of the earth. Jeremiah 48.41, and the mighty men's hearts in Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Jeremiah 49.22, and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Jeremiah 50.36, a sword is upon her mighty men and they shall be dismayed. Now that's an interesting word for the Lord to use here, dismayed. I looked it up. Strong's 2865, to prostrate, hence to break down, either by violence or confusion, affright, afraid, scare, terrify. Now this uh, breakdown may also be a mental breakdown for some of these uh, mighty men of Babylon, Moab, and uh, whatever else we have involved here. Uh, Jeremiah 51.30, the mighty men that have Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds, caves of the rocks, underground bunkers. Their might hath failed. They became as women. Now it's interesting to note that they became as women and uh, now we have a proposal that uh, women should uh, uh, be uh, involved in uh, combat operations. They became as women and now we're getting the women in combat operations. Very interesting, I don't know. Anyway, when the Lord says something this many times, this many different ways, it's a set matter. It shall happen. It cannot be stopped or altered. Well, that's connecting some prophetic dots for you. 
uh, trust Jesus today. He loves you. All you have to do is call upon his name. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That means you get to go to heaven when it's time to uh, pass out of this world. Uh, you can know it, too. So do that today. We thank you. And see you later.